So um, introducing the pathology report. The pathology report is, uh, is really the, the basis of the uh, treatment for, uh, for a patient. Uh, and so the initial things that you really want to know from this report is, first of all, just the, the diagnosis. What is the diagnosis? So the diagnosis itself will tell the uh, physician a lot about how he wants to treat you. Now, there, there's two different ways that, uh, that this can go, and the report's written for lots of different people. It's written for the patient. It's written for the surgeon. It's written for the uh, medical oncologist and the radiation oncologist as well. So other elements that are important in the pathology report are the margins. This is very important for the surgeon. So the surgeon needs to know, did I get the whole tumor out? Was I close? You know, how likely is recurrence? And these kind of, and, that, and so that's the, that's the margins. And they'll usually be reported as positive or negative or how close they are. The second thing that's really important from the, um, for the pathology report is the, the grade of the tumor. Now this isn't true for every single tumor, but for many tumors this is quite important. And this will help the medical oncologist know whether or not they choose to give uh, chemotherapy. And this will sort of vary from, from place to place and then with different interpretations from different multi multidisciplinary groups. Um, but this is important for them. It's also important for the resurgeon because it also gives you some insight as to how likely the tumor is to locally recur. Um, and uh, so these are the elements of a pathology report. There's more there, but um, these are two of the important things.